One, two, three. <laughs> you know what we should have done? We should have worn pink and had hearts in our hair and stuff like that. <laughs> Heart-shaped sunglasses. That would have been really cute. Uh. So if you couldn't guess, this episode is about love. Yes. Because we love love. We love love. And YA books just show us that, you know, everyone deserves a love story, an epic love story. So we wanted to talk about love stories yeah. with you. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to episode six of Is This Real Life? And now we have socks. Um, so as you know, Epic Reads has gotten some merchandise. We have fabulous t-shirts, which you can find here, somewhere. We're here. Um, and now <laughs> we've added to that collection socks, beautiful socks. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a pair of socks to keep their feet nice and warm. Yeah. Uh, and they have books and cats. And that's all you really need in life, right? So. <laughs> books and cats, yeah. Check them out. <laughs> so today we're talking about romance and what your favorite YA trope is and what your favorite, you know, OTP is, mm -hmm. which I uh, had no idea what that meant, by the way, so. Means one true pair. <laughs> so what is your favorite romance trope and your favorite OTP? Whew. I think my favorite is stuck somewhere together. Okay. <laughs> um, and you know what? I think I'm just going to, I think this all connects, so. Stuck right. somewhere together, yes. my one true pair, or my OTP, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, would be Katniss and Peeta. That does go together. Yeah, because they're <laughs> stuck, stuck in, in like a arena. cave. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> the arena and then the cave in the arena. Oh my gosh. So my OTP is not even like really in print, but it exists in fan fiction, which is very important. <laughs> and it's Draco and Hermione. Germione. Wow. I'm a thousand wow. percent Germione. Huge super fan. Okay. Because it's like the biggest enemies to lovers, like a Slytherin and a Gryffindor. You wow. can't get more opposite. And you know, evil and good, but is he really that evil? And I mean, she's the best, so like. I mean, it's opposites attract. <sighs> okay, so we want to know what your OTP is. Yeah. How do you feel about our OTPs? And do you ship? Ron and Hermione, or Draco and Draco. Hermione, or or someone throw, else. Throw Harry in there, or oh, Victor Crumb. Oh, he did is it. that? Mm. Oh, I've <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yes, you can comment on those. Yeah, let us know. I don't know. So uh, let's just get into the books and everything. So another favorite trope of mine is the love triangle. So you know, that's when one person suddenly, inexplicably, finds themselves, you know, being admired by two people. Not just one person, but two. <laughs> Which, like, ugh. Yeah, what, ha, How so much lucky. trouble. <laughs> and I remember that being Twilight for one of my first uh, really big love triangles, you oh, know. Yeah. That's also a very big fandom. <laughs> um, yeah, wait, what's your OTP? Twilight. I really like Jacob. Me too. Okay, wait, yeah, I was going to say, friend. I was going to say you guys are going to yeah. hate this, but <laughs> I'm team Jacob. Me too. Sorry. Ugh, that friendship but not is sorry. Like, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So, so <laughs> another love triangle that is brand new. This book is coming out next year, but uh, we got an advanced copy and it's called Love Boat Taipei. I just hit myself. <laughs> love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. Uh, I am so excited for this to come oh, out. But, First of all, the cover is gorgeous. Yeah, even the back. I mean, yeah. I love this. It's like, so colorful. Yeah. I love the hand lettering and her face and the. this artist, I stalked her on Instagram very soon after, and she <laughs> is so cool. Artists are just so cool. I know. Um, so this story follows a girl named Ever Wong. She's a first-generation Chinese-American in Ohio. This is very much a love triangle because there's two boys. There's one who is literally... Wonder Boy because he's basically every uh, Asian American parent's dream. He is like a super genius and sporty and athletic. Uh, and then there's the bad boy who is mysterious and very wealthy but very guarded. I already know who I want her to be I with. I mean, I mean, it's it's the bad boy because yeah, I'm sorry. That I just mean, it's just such a great. I know that it, it could be wrong, but like, I want it to be right. So you guys have to read this book when it comes out. Um, you can pre-order it now. And yeah, it's a blast. Yeah. Can't wait for every, it's a go into the world and then everyone can be fighting over team. Wow. Which, which team one? they're on. 
Okay, so one of my favorite tropes is enemies to lovers. Um, and there's this book called The Duff that they made into a movie um, with Mae Whitman um, a couple years ago. And so the main character, Bianca, um, and this guy, Wes... Wes is trying to get with Bianca um, to get to her friends. Oh. Bianca's using Wes as, you know, kind of like a therapy. Of, like, I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> Not therapy. She's like using him as a distraction. She's using <laughs> him as a distraction um, yes. <laughs> from her home life. Oh. They can't stand each other. He's so rude to her. I mean, she's using him. He's using her. Oh. It's like this whole I thing. I love it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Um, and then maybe they fall in love. Maybe oh. maybe these opposites, you know, friends, enemies, whatever, maybe they can make it work. Another trope is opposites attract. And I wasn't sure if I should classify this book in enemies to lovers or opposites attract. It's kind of both of them. And this book is Like Water by Rebecca Podos. And it's about these two girls who have pretty different personalities. Um, and initially end up disliking each other. These two girls bicker constantly and, but, you know, somehow are always stuck together also. So one day Savannah needs a ride and no one else can help her but Leah and just situations like that where it forces them to go grow, grow closer and so they eventually, you know, hate each other and then they're friends, which is really nice, and then eventually they become something more and this just is a really, really well-written book. Uh, I really like this author's writing, and she also has another book that just came out called The Wise and the Wicked. But I highly recommend this for, for any type of romance that you want to read. Uh, so one of the other tropes that I really, really like is Friends to Lovers. This one gives you like that like slow burn buildup, mm. which is like so satisfying in the end. Um, I mean, like Ron and Hermione <laughs> build up Bring for it back. like oh my god, like six book build up. Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel one like of, most of a lot of pop pop culture is Friends, friends to, to Lovers. lovers yeah. yeah. I mean, like, some of my favorite movies, like, growing up, like, 13 mm -hmm. Going on 30. Oh, yeah, with, of course. Oh, so cute, oh, Friends and Lovers. Lizzie McGuire and Lizzie Gordo. Lizzie McGuire, yes. Um, Those are, yeah, like, my favorite. Yeah, I feel like there's so <laughs> many Friends to Lovers mm -hmm. in pop culture. Um, but one I'm going to talk about today is from the Simon universe. Um, so, Leah on the Offbeat, yeah. which is the sequel to um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda or the Love, Simon movie. Um... So I feel like this is like one of those slow burn ones because you have like Leah and Abby who are friends in Simon mm -hmm. and then the relationship starts to like bloom into like a little more in Leah, um, which like culminates in this like college trip that they both go on together. Um, they kind of have this like love-hate relationship mm -hmm. and then once they go on this road trip, they're like, okay, we're we're into this. Yeah. Um, which I just love. I think it's like so rewarding and definitely like the build up in Simon pays off in this book. Mm -hmm. So ugh. And then that scene where isn't it at prom? Oh my god, yeah. It's a really cute scene. Yeah. So I'm not gonna spoil it, but prom. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so another trope that is super popular right now, I feel like, or maybe it's having a resurgence, is the fake dating trope. Mm. And I feel like I've seen this in adult romance or I don't know if it's called adult romance, but just other romance books. Um, and then YA, I've seen a little bit, the most notable being To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Yes. Which is amazing. We all love it for that reason. <laughs> um, so fake dating and fake relationships. Uh, and so another book that exemplifies that is Frankly in Love, which is also coming out this fall. And I'm so excited. It's gotten so much hype already, and I really, really want to read it. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, and so that follows Frank. And basically, his Korean-American parents want him to date a Korean-American girl or a Korean girl. And he falls in love with a white girl. And so then to get his parents off his back and, and whoever else might hear about it that might gossip about him, uh, he ends up fake dating this Asian girl in his high school and they're fake dating to, you know, get everyone off of his his path with this other girl. And so 
the exciting part about that is, well, who's going to actually end up, uh, end up together? Is it going to be <laughs> those two who are fake dating and, you know, eventually realize that they actually like each other? Yeah. Or is it going to be the original thing where it's the girl who he's been after the whole book and are they going to have a happy ending? So I guess we'll find out. And I oh can't wait to find out with you guys. I don't know who you would want him to be with. Yeah. Yeah, so... I also love the star-crossed lovers trope. Mm. Um, I mean, I feel like this one is like, dates like back to like Romeo and Juliet. Like, yeah. they're like doomed from <laughs> the start, but like, ugh, they just, I don't know. They literally know. can only be with each other in death. So yeah. that's yeah, yeah, yeah. as star-crossed as you're gonna get. Yeah. Um, so they both die at the end. This one, oh. like from even from the title, you're like, this is how it's going to be. They're, yeah. gonna, they're not making it out of this book. <laughs> um, so these the two main characters, Mateo and Rufus, they like find out that they have one day left to live and they both just like want to spend it together. Mm. It's so sad. They like know how it's going to end, but they're just like, you know what? We're going to go out with a bang and like who? And they totally do. They do. So it's like it's like a meat cute, but like a meat sad. Yeah, like, it is a meat sad. Where they can only be together for one day. Yeah. Um, re that's a trope that you want to read if you're like looking for some heart wrenching. Yeah, like you, know? you really want to get in the feels. Maybe you want a good cathartic cry. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's what's the one. What's the last book that you guys cried at? I want to know, because sometimes I'm just like, I need, I need that. Yeah. I need that moment with maybe just like. I don't know, hot tea on like a <laughs> rainy night. Another trope that I love and that is also, I think, getting more popular is meet cute. Mm -hmm. So just what it sounds like when you meet the person who is going to be your romantic partner and it's in a cute way. Two books that I wanted to talk about are Meet Cute, the anthology, which I haven't read all the stories, but it's a collection of sto short stories. And I actually went to the book event and it was so much fun hearing like five authors talk about how they were inspired by this trend. And there's some really cool and unusual ways that people meet cute in that book. Uh, and also The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. So that came out a, a few years ago. And that's really cute because this girl meets this guy when she is literally walking dogs. Uh, so another super ambitious type. Um, she is, her father's a politician, and so she gets a job as a dog walker and thinks, you know, it's below her and thinks, oh, my summer is ruined and now what if this impacts my future and all this stuff. But, spoiler alert, it doesn't because <laughs> she finds all the answers that she didn't even know she was looking for when she takes this unexpected job and meets a cute guy and just learns about herself and repairs her relationship with her dad. So it's very cute, but you can read it anytime. Anytime you want to just have a light romantic read. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, the next book and trope that I'm going to talk about are um, when they're stuck, like you're stuck somewhere with someone and then you end up, you know, developing feelings. So this, I feel like... I feel like I always see this on TV shows. They're like yeah. stuck in like an elevator, of course, it's or the elevator. like <laughs> they're something breaks down, or like they're on like a plane. I don't mm -hmm. know. And how anyway. convenient! You're just with this other person who you find extremely attractive, yeah. Yeah. and you're somehow like you're super compatible. Make it work. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, so love and other train wrecks. Um, That's a good title. <laughs> I know. I love this book so much. Um, so there's. Two characters, uh, Noah and Amy, um, and they are on a trip to upstate New York. Um, their train breaks down. Oh, and nightmare. They, I know. <laughs> oh, man, I know. Um, yeah, so their train breaks down, and they have to, like, figure out how to get to their destinations. They end up, like, combining forces and going together. Um Okay, so, so they're strangers on this train. Yes. And then the train breaks down. Train and breaks down. They realize, oh, we can just carpool together or however. Yeah, so there's okay. all these like antics that like ensue, but pretty much they like are on this train together. The train breaks down. They meet and Thank they're you. like, ugh, let's just do this together mm -hmm. and try to figure this out. Um, I love it so much. I love that premise. That's yeah. super cute. Yeah. 
Well, on that note, we hoped you loved <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Tell us Full if you pun loved intended. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then just let us know in the comments your, you know, your OTP, your favorite romance trope. Mm-hmm. Um, Are you team Edward or team Jacob or team Peta or team Gail? Oh, wow. Yeah. Or team whatever else? <laughs> if we forgot some teams, there's like a million, yeah. so let us know. Yeah, let us know. All right, so we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.